Hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss a new topic and that is endometriosis. Endometriosis is basically an inflammatory condition where the menses when the menstruation is found outside the womb. Now what does this mean? See actually this is a uterus, okay? And the lining of the uterus that is called as the endometrium tissue. Now what happens is that this endometrium lining whenever this lining because of various reasons is implanted outside the uterus or outside this lining that situation is called as endometriosis so when the patient is having her periods that is the menstruation is happening this lining which is located outside the uterus for example in the ovaries even in that area the patient will have bleeding or severe pain so this is the meaning of endometriosis okay in simple words the lining of the uterus is found outside of the lining of the uterus it can be even in the muscle of the uterus it can be outside the uterus now the most common area where it is found is actually the pouch of douglas that is in simple terms a space between the uterus and the rectum that is rectum is behind the uterus we know so between that rectum and the uterus there is a space which is known as a pouch of douglas there it is very commonly found it is also found in the endometriosis in the ovary in that case that is known as the endometriotic cyst or the chocolate cyst it can also be found in any other region also rare findings are it can even involve sometimes the lungs of the person now why it happens there are various theories but the exact certain cause is still not very clear to us but what is very clear are the symptoms and the treatment so the most common cause of painful periods it is one of the most common cause of painful periods and almost 10% of the women worldwide are already infected with endometriosis coming to its classification 1 2 3 4 see the always the purpose of classification in any medical disorder is always to plan the treatment so this means in stage 1 minimal and in mild the in the minimal and mild we can easily go with the medical management of line however in moderate to severe the surgery is only going to be the cure for the person remember in severe this endometriosis can rarely involve the bladder as well as the bowel also so accordingly the surgery has to be done now coming to the symptoms when should you think that you can have endometriosis now as i told the most common cause of painful periods as well as one of the most common cause for pain during intercourse so most of the females think ki having severe pain during periods is normal it can be normal but always it is wise to rule out that there is any problem so if you have any problem during your periods or you have painful intercourse it is better idea to just once go and check up with the gynecologist that there is nothing else anything serious now other symptoms can be bloating infertility so many infertile patients are diagnosed only when they are having infertility issues that they have endometriosis they were having severe pain but they never uh, you know took it seriously and then finally when they get married and are unable to conceive that time they are uh, diagnosed with infertility because of endometriosis and all, also i told you heavy and painful period so this is again a very common uh, cause of uh, symptom of endometriosis pain during urination so sometimes there can be even bleeding and pain during urination pain and bleeding during passing motions but these symptoms are rare they are not so common another very vague symptom is fatigue so this is the most common symptoms if you ask are very painful periods pain during the intercourse pain during urination and pain during motion and ultimately infertility so if you are having any of these symptoms it is always advisable to once go to the doctor and rule out any serious conditions especially the endometriosis thank you